One, two, check, 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 check. Is this on? Tell me when we are, uh, we're rolling. Hey, NATO leaders, here's a pro tip. Don't get caught on a hot mic bashing another one of your world leaders, particularly one that you need to work with and probably need something out of. Well, here's the context. Of course, controversy follows anywhere Donald Trump goes and at the 70th anniversary of the NATO summit, Justin Trudeau, the Canadian Prime Minister, got caught up in a bun fight with the President of the United States. Here's the challenge. Since Justin Trudeau got re-elected in a minority government recently, he's kind of kept low, been quiet, no big sudden moves. It's actually been quite, quite pleasant. Except for now, Justin Trudeau is thrown back into the international spotlight, not necessarily for the best reasons. The Prime Minister of Canada with the Prime Minister of Britain and the French President were all caught on, on hot mics bashing President Trump. The challenge, of course, for Prime Minister Trudeau is that there are two Canadians being held captive in China right now, and we need the help of the United States in order to secure their release. Michael Kovrig and Michael Spavor have been held captive for nearly a year with no end in sight. And it's not necessarily a good idea to be caught on camera or on a hot mic bashing the very person that could potentially help secure the release of these two Canadians. There is uh, no love lost for, for the current president of the United States on this side of the border. But will Justin Trudeau apologize? Thus far, he, thus far he has not. And so will this be problematic moving forward? We know Canada needs to increase its commitment to our NATO spending. We know Canada has to rely on the United States to get trade deals done. NAFTA, or as it is now called as USMCA, is still not ratified. These are all economic challenges that our country is facing. And we need the help of our American friends to get them done. Log on to Facebook and Twitter. Let us know what you think. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.